morning. Today. Darn us. On that. It's going to be a fucking nightmare. Yeah, it's going to be a chew. They are. Let's have, a, have a closer look at um, what we're we've dealing got, with. We've got brand new hand, handles on the plus side. Which so was, Tom ordered these from Germany. Yeah, cheaper than getting one <clears throat> chrome one. To yeah, get so two. one, two. Yeah. Two black ones was cheaper than one chrome one. So yeah, the handles are a bit of a jigsaw. We've got all we've got this box full of parts. I have taken door pan, door handles off of these cars before, but putting them back on is another story. Uh, we've got the lock, the locks. We've got the the bars that go across the top of the handle. So at the minute we're just kind of figuring out what we do and don't have where stuff is. A lot of it's still in the back of this door. So, yeah, it's a lot of um, head scratching doing stuff like this. So Tom's just looking for his car keys, he's lost them somehow. We only had them last week, but he's lost them. So um, I took the liberty of fitting, started putting little seals and found them. Thank God for that. So yeah, I've started fitting the little stupid trims and stuff like that that Tom probably wouldn't have even known about. Um, but yeah, they're there. I'll show you them anyway because... The baffle, when I first took them off, I was like, why have they put a seal there? This little seal. What's the point in that? It literally just goes in right in the front of the door. Between the very, very front of the door and the, and the wing. But this, the 6 Series is so much more... The yeah, there's just so much more in the build of it than there is in the 5s. They put a lot more stuff in them that they didn't put in the fives and the threes. Obviously with them being such a high end car of the time, they just went overboard with everything and made everything ridiculously intricate and have loads of parts. And So yeah, we're just going to try and figure out this door now. So, update. Yeah. On a scale of one to never ever attempt this job in your life, this is probably the worst job I've ever done in my life. Tom, I would agree. Says the same. I would agree. I am borderline <laughs> ready to, to end it now. If Take a match and just the whole lot. Just light the thing on. Awful. There is not. A worse job on these cars, guaranteed. If there is, tell me, because I'd love to know. So we've just been in. We had a good like hour on it, didn't we? Yeah. Something about like an hour. Yeah. About an hour. Yeah. Trying to figure it out, both sides. Best part is, it turns out we were doing it the right way, only. It's just more of a nightmare than... Yeah, it's just tween. a bastard. I mean, it's just a twat. <laughs> it is literally just so a we bastard. So we have the method figured out. However, the, th the practice is just... The worst thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. The tolerances are so friggin' stupid. So we've been in, we've had a cup of tea, we've sat and looked at photos on the internet to try and figure it out. Contemplated or living. Yeah. Thought, a bit. thought about whether or not we want to still do this car or not. <laughs> um, and yeah, we've come back out and we're going to try and get it done. Um, like I say, at least we know that we're doing, we're doing it in the right way now. It's yeah. just a nightmare to actually physically do. So yeah, pray for us. Worst thing I've ever done in my life. 
It's just like on another level of fiddly. Yeah. All light, please. Can you see? Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Somewhere near there. Oh. Ah. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Where is it? I need like 11 hands. I need 15 hands. But I also need like... I need four lights. Oh no. Oh man, that's so fucking close. We've got a thinner screwdriver on. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've had to give us the, the biggest screwdriver on the planet for this. Once we get this clip on, in theory it should go a little bit easier, shouldn't it? In theory. Only in theory. Uh, try and put the light on a bit better. Ooh. What have we done there? The that's come off here. No, you fucker. Fuck you, Dad. This is the worst I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Never ever take the door handles off an E24. There's just no room. You meant to. You're having to like. It just doesn't fit. <laughs> what is this? Ah, my finger. Right. I'm gonna take that out and start again. It's stuck on something as well. Great. Oh my god, it's stuck. No. It's actually stuck in the door now. Yeah, maybe. Well, it fully is. Oh no, I've got it. So, we have been battling with the door handles for two, two and a half hours now, and I have managed to murderize this bad boy, which is the barrel. A spring came out of it, so that's that dead. And also, me and Ben have been tr struggling like mad to get a bolt that fits on some doohickey that's in a place that you can't really get your hands in. All the while, slowly wishing we were somewhere else doing something else. Not of this world anymore. Can't even really see in there. No, you can't. I'm it's because I'm titting around with the camera while I really should be uh, ah! doing this. No. It really doesn't help. This is like these. This screw just doesn't want to go in. Yeah. So you try to put the striker on another door. The other one. Add a leading edge. Oop! That's that dropped. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, there, Ben. No. Not okay. Can we burn your car to the ground yet? No. It, it owes me too much. Yeah. Fucking thing. Probably that gadget. I think. Let's have a look. So the handle works now. We have a working handle. Kind of, yeah. However, no lock. The tumbled lock. Yeah. So we've hooked everything up that we can hook up. Like I say, other than the lock. So now we're going to attach the striker to the car. And then hopefully we can shoot, oh, shoot the door. Um, two. I'm not seeing any. I know they're off the other bit though. I know where they are. Possibly. In there. Maybe. So they need to go in as well at some point. But... Oh yeah, these are the new uh, subframe yeah. bolts. Subframe bolts. So they yeah. go into the top of the car. About there. They go into the inside the car and then down to the bottom and then the subframe bolts up and they've got like a spline fitting on them so that locates in the car well, so they're nice they're not in here so um, I, no, I, didn't, I didn't take them off the, this is my hope <laughs> and dreams right here. yeah 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 mm -hmm. all of them that's all that's left that's my will to live as well <laughs> I know the title of this video could be The Worst Day of My Life <laughs> So Far. <laughs> yeah. Sounds you know, about that, yeah. I have a feeling there'll be worse days than this working on this car. I dunno. 
know. These Daleks. You said that with so much conviction as well. <laughs> I really don't know. These Daleks are the worst thing on the face of the earth. They are actually awful. Tom is also wearing his uh, Ain't Dead hoodie that he picked up today. We still have some smalls left. Um, all the sizes have sold out, unfortunately. Well, good and bad at the same time. It's good because I've sold them all, but it's bad because you can't pick one up if you're a medium or a large. Um, but yeah, if you're a smaller dude, I'm five, what, how tall am I? Five, seven, eight? I don't even know. Tom's six, one. Six. Oh, here we go, ten measures out. I'm gonna be nice. Five six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, if you five six seven. Gigantic. <laughs> so so big the tape couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you're a smaller dude, uh, and you want a hoodie. I'm I'm about six foot six foot one, and this is and a this large. This is a large. And like, it's the only garment of clothing that fits across the back of my shoulders. And it your isn't arms. Like that. Yeah, yeah. It's if you want, if you're a small dude, or if you've got a girlfriend that just nicks your hoodies all the time, and you're sick of it, buy one of these. She'll shut up. She'll leave you alone. But yeah, links in the description. So it's the next day. Me and Tom are down at the unit. Um, we're going to put the new cap and rotor on the Corvair engine because it wasn't getting spark and we managed to trace it back to where it wasn't and it was it stopped at the cap so we'll um I'll show you the new cap and rotor I ordered these from Rock Auto in America I think they came from Texas so you got your new little rotor and then got the cap it's in like a proper old box it'll be New old. Yeah, it'll be like an old, new old stock part, won't it? Yeah. So, so yeah, we'll fit them and see if you actually fucking chooches. Chooches. Yeah, caps off. New rotor arms on. New rotor on. arms on. We did notice that the connector point on the rotor, it's a where, it, where it touches on the inside of the cap, that was quite worn on the old one, so yeah. we're hoping that this fixes it. And then the points in there... They don't look bad, I don't They think. don't look too bad. That might and actually be new. If you compare new. them to that... Yeah, they're, they're quite... Well, actually, no. They're worn to foot compared yeah, to that one, yeah. Yeah, they're worn a bit. Yeah, if you look at this new one, put that in the light... That's a straight... It's like a straight... Cut. Straight cut, and that's got, like, a it's great got a big... massive chamfer on it. <laughs> great big chamfer. Where it's worn out. So, now, I've got to figure out... Shall we put the leads on the cap before we take... Put the cap on? Well... There's numerous ways of doing it. I know. Probably need to number stuff up. Put that one back on, actually, so you don't forget where it is. Yeah. I like numbered stuff up when I did it on the BM. So I went one to six, yeah. and then one to six. But you've got to make sure that that is clocked is that, the it, same way as yeah, well. Because this yeah. says it's got R there. What does R mean? I'm not really sure. To be honest, it's all American. It's all funny and weird, and old. Yeah. It smells funny. It smells very funny. Um. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So we've swapped the leads over, we've left the king lead off. Ben's just nipping these little boys on. The bolts down that secure the cap down. Yep. And then um, that'll be it. So I'll get a better look at the, the old one. Uh, try and get it to focus, you fuck. You can see the like chamfered and round. The other ones, the posts on it are... They're just straight down. Straight down, yeah. What are we doing? So we've nearly got that on. Pop the king lead on. Just squirt some shit in the uh, just tight. top of the carbs and that'll do. Do you want to see if we've got oh. spark to one of them? Yeah. Let me pop that one out and see if we get spark when you crank it. Yeah. I have to take the plug out. No. Jam a, jam, a, jam a bolt in the bottom of there and just put it against the... Like so. Then if I stand here, that'll work on it. And just Put do that. Just do that. Right, go on. Just 
when you the air ride management, can't be asked about firing up. Yeah, so I've managed to to crank it, we'll see if we get spark. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Try again. Uh oh. Knocking nah, now. Nah. Nothing. No sp This car is getting burned to the fucking ground. That's two in a day. Two in two days. Two, in, get two in two fire. days and two in one video. Ah, but I managed to fix man. Yeah, he's just fixed. Um, we managed to sort the door lock out. Yeah. Just. Just. Only just. But this just won't fucking... It is not doing... It's not making any sense. It's got a brand new cap. It's got a brand new rotor. The coil works. We've put a brand new coil on it, technically, a brand new as well. Coil, I've tried a new coil on it. It doesn't work. The wires work, I think. Mm. Yeah, no, they're, they're all right. But then it's not getting power out of the top of the cap, but it is getting into the where the king lead plugs in. It's getting power through the so king lead. So basically it's... it's going from the king lead into the top of the cap. Mm. It's going to the other side of the cap, as in where the rotor arm touches the top. Nothing. But it's not getting from the rotor arm to the points. But we've tried why? two rotor arms. We've tried two rotor arms. Neither are many good. A, a cap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And I'm ready to burn the car to the ground. It's a cap and rotor. What could possibly go wrong? How is it this hard? I don't know. Like It's like an arson cart where the arse doesn't fucking move. Yeah, basically. Except... Simpler than that, and stupider. Where's the other bit that goes on that? So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cut to clip of me burning this thing to the fucking ground. <laughs> so they're trying to create some form of bomb. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> It did fly out the bottom, like, but it... not fast enough. Yeah. Bang, turn, 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 turn the thing upside down. And if you pick it up off the floor like that, you just swing it. <laughs> and then we'll just turn the and there won't be any. Okay now. Yeah. That works that like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the science experiment was uh we were cut the fucking down in the dumps so because it wouldn't work. <laughs> right, so we took the coil off and it sounds like it's got water in it. Which is weird. Which is odd. I don't know if they're meant to have anything in them. Like I think there was some distilled old, old water or something ones. stupid. I don't know. I so think some of some of the really old ones are filled with oil, but that sounds more like water. Than yeah, it doesn't sound like. Yeah, it doesn't sound. Doesn't sound good. Put it that way. No. Um, so I'm going to take that to a motor factors. <laughs> yeah. And see if they have any. But when we were testing, we tested the king lead coming off the coil, and we put the meter on it, and yeah. you were getting what? Nine, nine, between nine and seven. Nine and seven volts. volts. But for it to bridge the gap between the, the cap, cap and the rotor board, arm, yeah. it's going to need to be... need more than that. Yeah. Twelve? No, more like 30,000, but... <laughs> Is that like a range? No, no, it'll be, it'll need to be right up there for it to jump. Right, okay. Well, the battery was, what, 12.4 12, 12 last time we checked it. Yeah, the Although we have cranked it loads pretty... since, but... The, ba the battery isn't, it's never, it's pretty much a fucking brand new battery. Pretty I much. put that on before we're the sea, so spring. Yeah, I don't think the battery's the problem. I think genuinely that it's, it's the probably the coil. And it, it probably was on its last legs just before you took the engine out, and that's, that's yeah, why it's Yeah, and then when now. it's been sat, it's just yeah. 
like give up. And when we had it in the car as well, it was testing off <coughs> one of the poles down to earth as well. Yeah. Oh, like, which it shouldn't it was be like doing. Earthing out. Yeah, so from, from the pole to the casing, it was going down to earth open circuit which it shouldn't be doing which means that one of the coils inside I, mean, I, I don't fully understand it yeah <laughs> I'll be brutally honest in witchcraft to me to be honest but I'm, I'm looking at that coil with a lot of suspicion right now right as in like I want to hike it over the fence so try and salvage some form of accomplishment from this weekend we've put the wheels back on the cover I'm going to put it on the floor and see if we can get the air ride to kind of work as in put air into the bags, so we're probably going to find that there's loads of loads of leaks everywhere. But I know there's definitely a leak from the tank to the compressor, uh, but it's not a massive one, so it should. Just a little. Yeah, we should be able to like get some it. pressure into the bag, sort of thing. Yeah, you'd be able to test it with that. Um, and the battery might not do well with trying to run the air ride for that long, but we'll see. We'll try it. If it works, if it does a bit, as, as long as I know that it works. I deleted the pins, because I don't know what anybody was thinking, but I don't know if I've actually said in the video about this. I made a, a mount for the, uh, I need to get a black coupler for that, but I made a bracket to hold the filler neck in the trunk. I reused an old chain that I found in the car, God knows why it was in the car but it was about the right length to choke someone out, so it's probably what it was used for. Notice how he looks at me when he says that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that can be repurposed. Yeah, it's a nice bit of use, isn't it? Yeah, so I um, deleted the pins, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get leather buckles and straps, go from there to under there, and then I'll just have a strap holding the bonnet down. And in the meantime... But we've dropped the car... On the ramp, I mean, the front. This front corner sat right up because that tire is absolutely stupid. What sidewall is that? It's bigger than that, but it's a it's a cross ply tire, so it's like an old tractor front tire. Um, the rest of them are just radials, but they're a lot smaller. So this front corner looks like it's aired up, but it's not. Kind of isn't, and that tire's gone down rapidly, hasn't it's good it? Eye, that. It's good eye. It is. Good. Nice <clears throat> Um, the back end looks like on the floor. Really. On the floor. <laughs> so yeah, well, is the, is is the battery hooked up? Still connected, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, all I've got to do is plug the management in. It's in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus! It's pretty low. It's pretty low. So. Fuck your beetle. This thing is lower. Yeah. If I turn the ignition on. Is it plugged back in? Oh, yeah. yeah, boy. It might need some proper setup and calibration because it's set up for a different different thing originally, yeah. so it might be different, but in theory it should. Right, so pick the front up. Air it down. Well, it, it works. Good job, one. 
<coughs> definitely works. It definitely fucking works. It needs calibrating milk. It's all over the fucking shop. That battery's been fucking packed now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should probably put it on charge. Yeah, we'll do that. How would it look? But, yeah, she works. Goes up and down. Yeah, that's the main thing. Right. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this absolutely disastrous video. Another day of failure. Hasn't gone to plan. The only saving grace of it was that he has managed to fit and lock. There is a video of it, but on a phone yeah. and the wrong way up. Yeah. So, you probably won't get to see that. And the air ride works, we think. We haven't actually no, no, properly does. tried. It, it airs up. It airs up and goes down. Yeah, so that kind of works. It just needs a bit of calibration, which I can't remember it off the top of my head how to do. And you want the engine running, really. Yeah, so, just, you, can so you have more voltage. Battery running for long enough. Yeah. yeah. F's in the chat, boys. For both cars. <laughs> right, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.